Hi, what's up? We are still in the business of creating magic in Corridor 2021. So, as it is right now, we are going to make use of this background. We're going to turn it around and create a jota. So, without further ado, let's step into it. So, right now, what I need to do is to go ahead and just, you know, uh, convert this uh, image to uh, black and white. Go ahead convert to bitmap then you select you know uh grayscale it's okay good as this right now what we're going to be doing now is to just you know sample the color right here create an object as for us you know uh just like so so what we need there to do right now is to go ahead to your uh, color eyedropper tool let's sample the color right from here the light color so go ahead and point on this object so as this right now go ahead to uh this and uh, go ahead and just you know uh select multiply automatically we have this so what we're going to be doing is to just center it around that good let's go ahead and just change the blending mode to a uh, screen as well as let's see what pops out you know don't like this so as this you can see it is right now so what we need to do next is to just select the two then you convert to bitmap convert it to bitmap and select rgb it's okay good so right now what we need to do next to go ahead create an object uh, with your ellipse tool change it to a uh, magenta so what we're gonna be doing is to just you know uh set the outline to white then you go ahead to bitmap convert to bitmap then you choose uh rgb it's okay so i step right now let's add over uh, to uh effect locate blur then gaussian blur so right now let's just make it a bit you know good so right now it's this let's go ahead and choose a uh, transparency tool head over to this place and change the screen good so as this right now what we're gonna be doing is to make a copy inward just like so make a copy again center it within the previous one can you see the magic right there good can you see the magic make a copy inward make a copy inward again then make this a bit wider good so what you're going to be doing now is to go ahead and zoom down select the whole thing just like so group it all up then let's set over and change the page to a5 then you go ahead to your rectangle to create a box that fit in into the page then you back clip this image into it hold shift key select email then adjust just like so good can you see that so right now what we needed to do is to just go ahead and pack clip the picture into place hold out key select the image then you adjust just like so good can you see the magic right there so let's go ahead and just type a uh, test rp Happy 50th birthday, but they change it to white. Then let's hit Ctrl K. Before we hit Ctrl K, let's choose a Futurati for the font. Then you hit Ctrl K break it apart automatically breaks apart then you make the 50 a bit bigger so right now let's just hit ctrl k to break that into pieces then you delete this uh zero so let's draw a perfect uh what's it called object with a helix tool so let's go ahead and copy inward when we get to the destination you right click copy paste then you combine the two control hell you know automatically combine they change it to white so right now let's just you know uh shift key select the five then you trim 
then let's give it space good can you see that so let's make this you know uh lower case then let's reduce it a bit just like so position it so well just like so good likewise is reduce it then go over to your uh uh shape to increase the tracking just like so let's increase this tracking as well reduce it good move it closer then let's make this a bit smaller as well good so group it all up then you group all of this together good let's group it up ctrl g then let's position this to the top good it has to be simple so can you see that so right now let's make a copy of this to the other side so you don't have to really uh you know uh so we just have to really make it simple let's delete this convert this to a bitmap it's a while for that to initiate good so let's go ahead extract this content put that aside just like so let's park clip this into place good so let's make it a bit bigger just like so so what we are going to do in essence right now is to convert this to uh you know convert it to a grayscale good wait a while then you go ahead and just you know make it uniform right there so let's make it you know a screen let's see how it's got and the outcome of that good make it bigger position it downward so let's adjust this good good can you see that so let's type uh thanks for coming right there thanks for coming coming change it to uh what's it called futurati then you hit ctrl k to break it into pieces make this a bit bigger good so here we are at the finished line of what we are creating so far can you see the outcome of that you can see very unique very cinematic you know thank you for following me i don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking that button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far as i always say in the channel see you in the next video bye for now